Fourth Buddhist Council meeting, it is also called Gathering of Hinayans. Mahayana, Hinayana. Two divisions already over. So it happened in Kundalibana, it is in Kashmir. Some say it is in Jalandir. So next, uh, year of the meeting, 78 AD. So earlier meetings uh, before the birth of Jesus Christ. This meeting after the birth of Jesus Christ, AD, Anna Damini, 78 AD. So here, uh, meeting president name, Mosul Mitra, vice president name, Ashra Ghosha. So emperor name, Ashoka, he patronized. He belonged to Kushan dynasty. So Kanishka was advised by so Parshava to convene this council meeting. Purpose of the meeting for reconciliation of various conflicts between different schools of thought. Here, Buddhism divided into two broad sets, Hinayana and Mahayana. So Mahayana are greater vehicle supported the philosophy of worship of Buddha idol as a god and soon became popular in India. Hinayana or lesser vehicle supported the traditional philosophy of the Buddhism and became popular in Ceylon, that means present Sri Lanka, Burma, that is Myanmar, Thailand, other parts of Southeast Asia. So next, uh, Mahayana or greater vehicle supported the philosophy of worship of Buddha, idol, and uh, soon became popular. So in India, we see Buddha statues, that is called Mahayana. So in English, uh, greater vehicle. So Hinayana, lesser vehicle, supported the traditional philosophy of the Buddhism and became popular in Ceylon, that is Sri Lanka, Burma, Thailand, and other parts of Southeast Asia. So in this meeting, the council settled certain controversial questions arising out of some differences of opinion between Sarvastivada, teachers of Kashmir and Gandhara. So Kashmir, you know, Gandhara presently it is in Afghanistan. So Gandhara, presently where you refer Afghanistan. You, in the map we have shown Gandhara. Three large commentaries on the Pitakas known as Vibhasas are also prepared. So Vibhasa is nothing but commentary. So what is the original text name? Pitaka. So Pitaka, original text. Sutta Pitaka, Vinaya Pitaka, Abhidhamma Pitaka. And that the commentary means any discussions, etc. That is called Vibhasa. So this was uh, mentioned by Queen Sang, Queen Sang, Chinese traveler, Lama Tharnad, described the fourth council meeting. So formal split there between Hinayana and Mahayana. So like this, uh, now in a brief, we are taking Pali canon. Script has Sutta Pitika, Vinaya Pitika, Abhidhamma Pitika. Canon means principles. So religious principles are called canons. So Sutta Pitika is written in which language? Pali language. Script, Pali script. Vinaya Pitika written in which language? Pali language, Pali script. So Abhidhamma Pitika, which language? Pali script. So Sutta Pitika, in this, uh, what is the summary of teachings of Buddha? It has five Nikayas or collection. Or collections. Nikayas or collections. So in this Sutta Pitika, what is there? Five collections are the Sutras, Suttanas are religious discourses. It includes Digha Nikaya, Majjha Nikaya, Samyukta Nikaya, Anguttar Nikaya, Kudduka Nikaya. The, the fifth one, Nikaya or Sutta Pitaka, includes a famous Dharma Pada or Dhamma Pada, the Psalms of the brothers and sisters. So, brothers are called so, Thera Gada, sisters are called Teri Gada, so, and Jataka or Buddhist birth stories. Next, second one, Vinaya Pitaka. It deals with disciplinary rules and regulations for leading monastic life. Monastic means monk, Buddha, Bhikshu. The text contains in our Sutta, Vibhaga, Kandakasu, and Parivara. It has rules of monastic discipline. So Abhidhamma Pitika deals with doctrines of Buddha in a scholastic manner. It contains seven texts. It has disquisitions of philosophical character. So Dhammapada. It has a collection of 423 sayings of Lord Buddha. Thera Gada is a collection of poems. Composed by Buddhist monks. Theri Gada, the collection of poems composed by Buddhist nun. Monk means male, nun means women. Uh, Buddha Vamsa, it is a collection of legends depicting 24 lives of Buddha. So, Visuddha Magga, written Buddha Gosha, who lived in Siloan in the 5th century AD. So, in Siloan, there is a present day Sri Lanka in 5th century AD. A person was called Buddha Gosha. He wrote a book called so, Visuddha Magga. So, 
magadan nirutti da idima people in magada so ordinary people in patni putram that is magada empire magada empire the language spoken by them was called magadam nirutti so even today also magada is a language talked in bihar area but some may be differences so this is a briefly about buddhism and in the previous series exams the what type of questions they asked i want to tell briefly where the first council meeting was conducted where the second council meeting was conducted where the third council meeting was conducted where the fourth main council meeting was conducted so like that uh, so what is ashtanga marga uh, so eight fold path so what is the importance of uh, so animals uh, or symbols in the life of buddha so uh, future buddha what is the name of the future buddha it was the question last year in civil previous examination so this uh, questions came in the so exams so uh, so who visited china so to spread the buddhism to translate the so pali text books canon books into chinese language so these were the questions in the previous years okay so any questions any doubts sir dear students all this text and the maps are sent to you in whatsapp it will be uploaded in the website also right now if you have any doubts you can ask sir